Like, I haven't even had coffee, but I'm on one. Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. Bringing another video to you, baby. I'm excited, like per the usual. I'm trying to keep my composure. Okay, but you guys know that I get excited when I film. It doesn't even matter what it is. So anyway, I had this idea. Aha! Y'all know I always have a background to every video, it seems like. But number one, I thought about doing this video because I told you guys that I would do it because I started doing a new technique um, as far as setting under my eyes, right? And I told you guys in the last video, I think it was trying new makeup video or something like that. So in that video, I told you guys that I will compare that to me using my beauty blender to set under my eyes, right? Right, you following me? Okay, so I literally had like 10 minutes to get ready, all right? Mind you, brows were already done, and I said all this on Snapchat, but anyway, I, of course, I did not pack a beauty blender because I wasn't about to deal with the struggle of wetting it and all that good stuff. What happened was, I brought brushes, and guess what? It took me way back. I was like, dang, this look came out really cute. And so, I was like, I wonder if it's better than a beauty blender, though. And because it wasn't like side by side, I couldn't do a comparison. So, started from that day, now we here. <laughs> So that's what I want to do. I want to compare it and see if brushes really look better or if Beauty Blender really looks better. Keep in mind, as far as setting my face, I'm totally gonna use a brush because that's always what I do per the use, or that's what I always do per the use. Doing a contour, powder contour, always use a brush. Highlighter, always use a brush, okay? I am specifically speaking about applying foundation and doing my under eye concealer, all right? So, you know, I was like, I didn't do too shabby. Matter of fact, when I did my makeup that day inside Denny's, I was like, <laughs> pat myself on the back because I did a pretty good job. So I'm going to show you the technique that I used that day and we're going to see which looks better. But there are certain brushes that I use to apply foundation because if you are using like the wrong type of brush, like say you're using a um, one of those flat foundation brushes. I was looking to see if I had one right here. But if you're using a flat foundation brush, sometimes it tends to make it look streaky. So there are some brushes that I do want to recommend if you are going to be applying foundation with brushes alone. So this is the Luxie 532. I recommend this because it allows you to buff out the foundation. And I think this is what I took with me that day. I'm not really sure, but all of these are great. What I would consider a dupe for this Luxie brush or the closest thing to it, not necessarily a dupe, would be this e.l.f. brush. And y'all gonna like this, cause this e.l.f. brush I think is like $4. So let me do like this and maybe you guys can see it. So the e.l.f. brush, maybe we'll use e.l.f. today. That's what we'll do. There's another brush I recommend as well that's drugstore. It is by Real Techniques. It is their expert face brush, but I believe this comes in a set. I've had this for years, y'all. And then there's another one. There's one by Makeup Geek. This is the face buffer brush. I have used this many times to apply foundation. I'm not sure if you guys are following the pattern, but the pattern is finding a brush that is dense so that it can apply and buff out the foundation, all right? So this is the Makeup Geek. And if you see me look this way, I'm totally looking at my mind okay oh and this is the same exact brush this is the elf brush see I have more than one because it's a love thing and so then finally this is an OG brush that I use way back in the day now this is the Sigma F80 and oh my gosh it is the flat top but I am sad to say that well I'm not really sad to say but after going to like the round kabuki style brush I'm just hooked I had to show this one love because this is where we started okay started from the bottom now we here no i'm just kidding but i believe sigma does have a round top brush as well oh my gosh it's probably in my stash somewhere but you get my drift so you can do the flat top brush or you can do a round top and i prefer the round top oh i totally forgot to put on primer how did i forget to put on primer but i put on my corrector i think what i will do is i will do the brush on this side and we're gonna do the brush first because the brush came first. The beauty blender is fairly new. I definitely didn't know anything about beauty sponges when I started makeup. Oh, and the name of this brush is the Ultimate Blending Brush, if I didn't say it. Oh, and I am using the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Foundation. I am in the shade 400. Like, I'm just forgetting protocol here because I'm excited. Like, I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like. And because I am generous with foundation, this ain't nothing new, y'all. Like, I, I explain myself every time because I always get comments where people are like, oh my gosh, you don't need all that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, OMG, oh my gosh, oh no. 
<laughs> just kidding. Someone made a comment last time and they were like, did you use the whole bottle? And I'm like, and to myself, I'm like, nah, girl, but listen, if I did, it would still look flawless. <laughs> so y'all know that this experiment is really for me, but then I'm like, I think they may enjoy this too because I'm such a nerd and I love research. So I was like, is there a difference? Ha uh ha, -huh. let's find out. So I am gonna use the OG Beauty Blender because that is the first one that came out as far as I know. So let's try it. This is the original Beauty Blender. And because I said, this is like the first one that I purchased and this is like the original, okay? The OG and see if it's a difference. It's a trip because when I do these videos, I can't really tell the difference. Like even when I look at my monitor, I can't really tell. It's always through editing that I can kind of tell because my monitor is on my right side. It's not like right in front of me. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna be revamping my room and I'm gonna share that experience with you guys. And I think I wanna change it to where my monitor is right in front of me. So I said all that to say that I don't know which side is looking best yet. Y'all tell me in the comments, okay? Cause I'm not gonna know till I edit. So there's the brush side. Bam, there you go, take a bow. And then there is the um, Beauty Blender side. So I'm gonna do one side at a time because this concealer dries quickly and I kinda wanna take my time. I don't wanna rush through it. Like I want to give them equal time, if that makes sense. So we're gonna do this Estee Lauder. One of these is in uh, medium tan and the other is in deep or something. Medium deep and deep, that's it. And I mix them both because the deep is not much of a highlight for me. It's a subtle highlight, but I wanna highlight, I wanna highlight my life just a little more. How can I be fair? So I'm gonna do down here and I'll blend this out with the brush. But when I do the beauty blender, I'm gonna do the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna do my forehead. Or actually, maybe I'll just do the brush for the forehead and for the chin. Let's do that. I really didn't think this all the way through. I'm literally, y'all, this is raw, okay? A brush that I like to use to blend out my concealer that's really good, that's angle, that allows me to get in the crevices is this Sonia Kashuk brush. But you guys, this was a limited edition. Um, like, I don't even know when it was. But if you have something like this, try using it. I like it because it's dense and it blends really good. It's a little prickly, like you can feel the bristles a little bit, but it works good, so. I don't let that deter me from using it. Uh-oh, now see, right there, I think I like my Beauty Blender better. But anyway, this is what I did the day I went to Denny's and did my makeup in 10 minutes. This brush was like, yes. But I'm gonna tell you a trick once we get this blended out, okay? So you see how it blends it out, but it gives it a really harsh line. Usually when I use my Beauty Blender, it blends everything together seamless. Like it gets that as I'm blending out the concealer. So because I have a brush and it was concentrated on that area, I go back into that other brush that I apply my foundation with, and then I kind of blend around the highlight, right? To make it seamless, because like I always tell y'all, everybody does not have to know. Wait, you know what I'm trying to say. Everybody doesn't have to know where we put everything. That's none of their business. Just like you don't like panty lines showing, I don't like highlighter lines, okay? Maybe that was TMI, but I'm just saying. And I'm gonna move fairly quickly. Matter of fact, I may zoom through this part because I don't want that concealer on that side to dry too much. And like, I wanna hurry up and set it, and you guys have seen me do this like 50,000 times. So we are gonna zoom through this, okay? Like, I may start moving like, um, who is a character that moves really fast? The Flash, that's what we are gonna do. We are gonna be the Flash right now. And then I told you guys in the last video that I have a new technique where I was using this brush, or I do use this brush by Real Techniques, it's called the Contour Brush, and I just dip it in my Graftobian powder, which I've been loving lately. And I have a setting powder video too on some of my faves, all right? But you wanna look either down so that you're getting all in those crevices or you want to look all the way up. And I've been loving this technique and this is one of the things that triggered this video because I wanted to see if it works better than my beauty sponge. There we go. Now we are gonna place this powder underneath my eye. This is what I've been doing for so many years but I really like the brush. Okay, already it looks like that does give me a little bit more of a highlight. So I'm gonna go in with the brush again and put some more powder under there. I'm gonna be a little generous on the other side too. Put a little more so the highlight is popping. I feel like with the Beauty Blender, it kind of, it picked up more product at one time and allowed me to just kind of pack it in there like after a couple times. And the brush, I feel like I have to go in like two or three times to get what the Beauty Blender got. But I still do like how it's flawless. I'm really not noticing much of a difference actually at this point, but we'll see. This is the final look guys. So this is the brush side 
Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And this is the beauty blender side. Let me know what you think. Okay, so the brush side is looking pretty good. I kind of went overboard on that highlight, y'all, and that bronzer just a little bit. I'll put the deets in the description box. And then I have the beauty blender side. And from what I'm seeing, honestly, I kind of, I don't know. I'm wondering, oh, I'm wondering if my brush side is a little more lively. So thank you guys so much for joining me on my little experiment because I was not gonna rest until I did this experiment to find out for myself, okay? So if you guys have not joined the fam bam here or on Seeky Uncut, I encourage you to do so. And over on Seeky Uncut, it is like all the way raw, y'all. It is uncut. Like so far we have talked about um, insecurity. We've talked about uh, virginity. We've talked about celibacy. We have talked about um, low self-esteem and it's only going to get better. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Don't forget to thumbs up. So you guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Thinky, beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the see key beauty. Yeah, see key beauty.